my name is Kim. I am originally from Cambodia. Cambodia is one of a very, very poor countries. People living less than a dollar for a day. My family live in a small village in Badamong province and we don't have enough food to eat. So I have to go to the farm to help my parents digging the ground, so it's very, very difficult. One day I just walked past by the, by the pastor's house back from school. So um, the pastor just gave me the invitation to join the Christmas program and they tell me they have something for us. And then they say, also they have food. So I would love to come because of food. So when I came to the Christmas celebration, they were singing, they were worshiping, they were praying, they were talking about God and Jesus. At the end of the service, they hand us a box and we open it. They have a jump rope. I also receive a book and also some color pen. I saw this the booklet called The Greater Gift. So I saw that was so interesting because they have a story in there and they have the color, they have a picture and I read it over and over and in that booklet we tell about God, Jesus Christ and God will die on the cross for us and I not just read it to myself, I also read it to my brother. He want me to read to him every evening. After I received a shoe box, I keep asking myself where the box come from? Who packed a shoe box? Why they gave it to me? And I'm just a poor kid. So I went back to church. I asked the pastor where the shoe box come from and what is about Jesus Christ? What is God? And he said, if you want to know more, you can read the Bible. So he gave me the Bible to read. So I came to church about two or three months, come to church regular. I received a good thing too. They tell me to go to a youth camp. So when I went to youth camp, I was just how so amazed. When they worshiping, they pray in the early morning, and I would like get goosebumps all the time when I would go to the big uh, worship. So I was like crying. So then at the end of the service, pastor was preaching about God and he asking who want to give their life to God. I just go in front there and kneel my knee and I just say, God, I give my life to you. I give my life to you. Sometime when I at home, sitting there with my kids, with my husband, I was asking myself, if it would not be that shoebox, I will not be here. Just every single day, thank God for all His blessings.